when you think about sleep we think about the night because we fall for it mostly during night when natural light is not available and today we are here to find out why light takes off your sleep why we have blue light filter for our smartphones so let's find it out in this video you know we always close our eyes when we try to sleep or feel sleepy or sometimes it's involved reaction of eyelids to get close it's only because we cut out the supply of light towards retina where photosensitive cells are receiving this light so we cut out the supply and it's this shutting down the supply of light towards retina where photosensitive cells are present and receiving light makes us sleep and why this happens will be explained in this video during the daytime or under artificial light conditions the light strikes our eyes and goes through pupil of an eye towards retina and it's this retina which has got three different types of photosensitive cells with rod cells we have also cone cells and finally we have intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells these photosensitive cells are able to phototransduce and do their specific functions rod cells give us a scotopic vision that's black and white vision and this vision is perceived under dim light conditions on the other hand we have cone cells which give us a photopic vision that's colored vision which is perceived under well lit conditions like in a daytime to know more about these scotopic and photopic visions you can watch the video of them by clicking above and finally we have third cell called intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells present on our retina and these cells doesn't perceive any vision but rather these cells are used for synchronizing our body with light and dark cycles that's during day and night a clock in our body called circadian clock which drives circadian rhythms that's why it has been shown the blind person can also synchronize the actions according to day and night by circadian clock since only rod and cone cells are not working or damaged and by the circadian clock we are able to detect the timing of sleep and wake cycles by the help of secretions from pineal gland now let's see the interaction of iprg cells that intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells with light we have two scenarios here one being the presence of light and other being the absence of light that's light and dark we can say under the conditions of presence of light retinal ganglion cells depolarize unlike rod and cone cells which repolarize in the presence of light but here these cells depolarize so when these cells depolarize there is an inhibition of endocrine functions of pineal gland that is no melatonin hormone is being secreted when light is received by photosensitive ganglion cells on retina and on the other hand when there is no light present that is dark or we can say at night time these cells repolarize which finally induce the secretion of melatonin from pineal gland so it's this hormone called melatonin which is being processed in circadian rhythms in our brain called SC and suprachiasmatic nucleus which we have already discussed in the previous video and you can click the link above of that video the melatonin hormone which drives circadian rhythm initiates and kicks up an alerting system that we call as circadian alerting system which continuously drives these rhythms in suprachiasmatic nucleus in its dark cycle it has been shown that when alerting system gets activated that circadian alerting system gets activated there is marginal decrease in the activity of cerebral cortex of brain which is responsible for thinking learning and wakefulness and other attention seeking activities so it's under the conditions when light is not present that's during night time or during a dark cycle but once there is presence of light melatonin secretion will be inhibited circadian alerting system will be deactivated all circadian rhythms will cease to exist the cerebral cortex will be more active thereby increasing wakefulness and finally we will not feel sleepy and there will be no sleep and it must be noted that it's the blue light present in spectrum which works well to depolarize the photosensitive ganglion cells the wavelength of 450 up to 490 nanometers initiates the phototransduction pathway other wavelengths does not pose any threat to circadian rhythms that's why you found a blue light filter in your smartphone so that it does not disturb your sleep because melatonin secretion is being inhibited once the cells receive blue light. 
So this is all about a sleeping hormone synchronizing your body with day and night via circadian rhythms. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.